Lately many YouTubers have using animations like this and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same as this one. Our first step is to create our character. We're gonna use lexica.art. In here I'm typing anime boy and I'm going to select the character which I think is suiting the best. I'm picking this one. I'm right clicking and I'm saving it. Next up we're going to follow P or Photoshop and I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso in order to remove the background from this one. I'm selecting refine age then selecting OK and my background is removed. Next up we want to remove the mouth of this anime character so I'm zooming in his mouth and selecting the pen tool right here and then I'm selecting the color from here. In the color I'm gonna select his skin tone so I'm clicking on the skin tone and I'm selecting OK. Then I'm changing the brush type from solid to soft, I'm increasing the size of that brush and then going over his mouth, painting it with the same skin tone that he's having. That way we're removing the mouth, leaving a space for our animation. Then I'm going to file, export as and we are exporting it at PNG. This is very important to mention because we don't want to include our background. Our next step is to create our environment studio. So I'm creating a new project inside PhotoP. And I'm selecting YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 to 720. Click on create. And now let's go back to lexica.art so we can look for our studio. So I'm typing anime studio room and I'm looking for a room that is gonna fit our character. I'm selecting this one, right click, copy, and I'm pasting it inside Photopy or Photoshop, depending on what you're gonna use. Next up, I'm resizing the background of my liking. I'm gonna leave it something about like this. I can readjust it later if needed. And then next step, we're going to add a desk and typing desk PNG in the Google and finding the image of a desk and then copying it and pasting it inside our photo P. I'm readjusting it once again. And this time we're gonna use quick selection to cut the background, refine age, click on OK, and now we have it. Next up, we want to add a screen monitor on the right side of the desk. So I'm using Google once again and typing screen PNG and I'm finding a screen. Copy and paste again, removing his background with a quick selection once again. Then going to refine age, click on OK and it's ready. Now we're gonna resize it, leave it on the right side, right click, flip horizontally, reposition once again, final adjustments and I'm gonna leave it as it is right now. We're gonna do the same with the microphone, removing the background, adjusting it in the middle of the desk. And now we're adding our main character, leaving it behind the desk. In here, just make sure that everything is looking symmetrical. Nothing is way too small or big. And when you're done, you can go file, export, and you can export this one in JPEG. Then you can import that in your video editing software. I'm using DaVinci Resolve. Then over that, you can leave a mouth green screen. You can find it on YouTube. Then right click, open infusion page, press control and space and add a delta key. Then click on the green area on your screen. Background will be removed. There's a little bit over from the green screen. So you go to mate and finesse. You can decrease the values of in and out ratio to minus 100. Increase the values of clean black by a tiny bit and also the blur radius. Then you should be having something clean like this. You can go back to the edit tab. You can select the window icon right here and reposition the size and the place of that mouth that you're having. I'm leaving it right here. So far it's looking like this, but you can do something else very simple that is gonna improve the overall result. You can go to pixels, you can look for particles. I'm gonna get this one. Going back to the editing software and I'm leaving it on top of everything. Then I go in the inspector and on composite mode and click on add and I'm reducing the opacity to about half. Also I'm adding another particle which is looking like a broken TV or something. I'm leaving it on top of my other particle, I'm highlighting it and again I'm clicking on add on composite mode and I'm reducing the opacity but this time even more. Now when we have everything together I can highlight everything, right click, new compound clip and now we're having our animated character with a background studio, particles and everything. Now we can make a cut around the beginning, add a dynamic zoom and this is the final result. Also don't forget to check out this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.